Hello friends. Welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. So guys, we are now in the third RDS database engine tutorial, and this time, we are going to make a Microsoft SQL Server database instance. Then we will connect to it using the Microsoft SQL Studio. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So same as the previous database instance, we will create a security group that defines an inbound rule that allows access from the internet. So let's click on create security group. Here let's say, MS SQL, SG. And here, let's add a description for it. Now add an inbound rule for IPv4 and IPv6. So here in type, select MS SQL for type service. And same thing for IPv6. Here we no need to do any changes, so let's create it. All right, our VPC now is ready. So we are going to create the Microsoft SQL Server database instance using the RDS service. So let's go to the RDS service. Here let's create database. First select the standard create option. And here off course, select Microsoft SQL Server for engine type. Here in addition, make sure you select the SQL Server Express edition. Now here in version, I guess it is okay. I am just going to name this, demo, ms. Now here, let's give it a password. Confirm it. Here in burstable class, make sure you select the T3 small. Disable storage auto scaling here. In connectivity, say yes to public access. And now here, let's select the security group that we created. Now in the additional setting. Disable or uncheck this options like automated backup, performance insight, monitoring. And let's create the database now. So again, it will take a few minutes to be created. Okay, there we go, it is now created. So let's click on it. And let's copy the endpoint. So before we connect to this using the Microsoft SQL Studio, make sure you download the software. I will provide the link in the description, so don't worry. So now let's open the software. Here click on File. Then click on Connect Object Explorer. Now here make sure that the server type is selected to Database Engine. In Server Name, let's pass the endpoint that we have copied. Here in Authentication, select the SQL Server Authentication. And let's provide the username and password that we have created and simply click on connect. All right, so just simple as that. You're able to connect now using the SQL Studio to your instance in the cloud. I hope you all guys are now clear with it. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.